Brings us to 751 at KNEB News Extra brought to you by First State Bank. Here's Kevin Moon. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. And we have uh, representatives of the Gehring Merchants here today, Linda Harriman and Tom Kozad. You don't get much better than that. We're going to talk about the uh, uh, big Sugar Valley Rally finish line lunch on Sunday. And uh, you know, a lot of people looking forward to it. The big 25th anniversary of the Sugar Valley Rally. So, Linda, tell us what's uh, going to happen. We're going to be over at Mr. Kozad's garage again, right? That's right. We'll be setting up in the in, in the football stadium just across the street yeah, from Cozad's right. Antique Ford Garage. So we'll be having lunch. We'll be serving from 11 to 2 again this year. All right. And we'll be doing uh, barbecue beef sandwiches, coleslaw chips, cookie and a drink for only $6. So it should be a good lunch again this year. Yeah, it should be. And uh, you always have a nice nice tent set up so yep, people can eat up. underneath. They don't have to don't have to sit out in the sun. Right. We've got two tents to set up, so we'll sit in the shade. And I don't think it's supposed to be quite as hot this year, so that's another plus. Yeah. It's supposed to be, I don't know, 75, 80 maybe. Mm -hmm. Perfect weather really. Yeah. For the for the good. rally and the lunch and the whole nine yards. And uh, the other big thing is you get to watch as the cars come in and uh, as as uh, Mr. Richards uh, Berates of the drivers and the navigators about how well they did during the rally, mm -hmm. right? Well, that's right. He he's, should be doing his thing as usual. Yeah, and uh, he's told Rob and I occasionally when we come in, oh, you guys did well on this leg and not so hot on the other leg. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So anyway, that's what happens. So, um, and people also uh, can do some other different things, right, as well, in addition to touring uh, Tom's Garage, and we'll talk about that here in just a sec. Right. Uh, Paul Reed this year has agreed to open up his uh, corporate offices so that the public can view his unique pedal tractor collection. And so Paul's office is located at the corner of 10th Street and Country Club Road, and he'll have that open from 10 to 2 on Sunday for the public to enjoy. All right, that's good. And you're open 11 to 2, and he's open 10 to 2. Mm -hmm. So uh, people in that, in his place isn't very far away from yeah, Tom's. Just so down the street. Just down the yeah. street. So. And it, you, you need to see 150-some pedal tractors is what he's got on display. He's got a lot over there, Some of the most he? unique stuff you've ever seen. Yeah, he really does. He's got a lot of stuff. So that's good. So, uh, and then uh, we were going to have Teresa Scanlon, right? But that has... Falling through? Yep, Maybe, well, Tommy, you want to talk and, about that? Well, we had a we had kind of an agreement with them, uh, with some members of her uh, entourage or whatever, and uh, then there was a scheduling conflict, so she just won't be here. She she wishes she could, uh, but uh, just things happen, so she will not be here. All right. We were talking out front. We might... Just have Tom put on a dress, and, <laughs> and maybe yeah. that would be a that would be a bigger draw than Teresa, yeah, probably. Yeah, that would really scare me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so uh, so it should be really good. So uh, we'll talk to Tom a little bit about uh, where you can go in his garage and what's kind of going to be off limits and stuff right after this. Yep. I think you yep. pretty much yep. did, and we'll let you yep. just briefly no, mention no, the no, Arts and me. Crafts Festival after yeah. I talk to him about his garage. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 We, just, uh, just, I don't, we don't need to tell them what we're eating. I don't know we didn't mention price, but I mean... Uh, yeah, I yeah we did. Okay. Six dollars. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, six dollars is yeah. bad for that. No, it's a good lunch. That's a good lunch. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. You can't even eat at McDonald's for six dollars no, anymore. No, not anymore. Yeah. All right, we are back on Sugar Valley uh, on uh, News Extra. We're talking about the Sugar Valley Rally finish line lunch over at uh, Tom Kozad's garage over there in Gearing on uh, 7th Street. And uh, it's going to be 11 to 2 on this coming Sunday. You can get a uh, barbecued beef sandwich, coleslaw, chips, cookie, and a drink for $6. And you can look at all the cars as they come in and view them as they park, and that's a good thing. And then you can also... Go into Tom's garage now. Of course, this year with the fire from a few weeks ago, it's a little bit different than uh, what it would be normally. So, uh, first of all, I want to praise you for doing this again, even though you had the the problem here a few weeks ago. That had to have been kind of a difficult decision. 
Well, actually, yeah, it was just last weekend. It was that, yeah. that, that short ago. Yeah, it just seems like. <laughs> but, was uh, it? Yeah, it was last, last weekend. Uh, but these these people, I, I've gotten to have such good friends in this rally that uh, even for moral support, it does me more good to have them down there than, than to postpone it and put it off somewhere else. Uh, we have had some pretty extensive damage to part of the building. Uh, the oldest part with the arch doors. Uh, it got pretty well burned out on the inside, uh, so most of that is being stripped down as we speak. Uh, so that will not be open, but we'll have the 50s diner open, we'll have the 55 rooms open, we'll have the theater and, and some of the Coke display upstairs. It's just the corner building will be closed. Okay, all right, and your Coke display got some damage yeah, too. Yeah, we probably it? lost, uh, completely destroyed, probably 30-35% of it, but we'll salvage quite a bit of it. All right, that's good. And uh, the good thing is, most of your cars are okay, right? Yeah. Most of the most of the antique cars. Yes, most of the cars are okay. All of the '55 survived. They was in another section of the building. Uh, they just got extensive smoke damage. Uh, the Model A's uh, were in the, in the area that burnt the worst. We've got some some uh, cosmetic damage to them, but uh, they'll they'll come back again too. Yeah. So. Uh, it's gonna probably take a little time, right? Yeah, take a little time. Yeah, I've got I've got plenty to do. I think I got uh, I always had a lifetime project. Now and I just got a life and a half. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a good attitude about the whole thing. Well, yeah, you know? and, and I mean I I've, I've got some tremendous tremendous friends. I've got some great moral support and some physical help from some really good people. Yeah, and uh, the good thing is you guys got out alive. That's the best thing. Yeah, that's right. I you know I tell people I said. Uh, uh, my wife, my wife and I still have each other. We still have a home to go to, and I have a business to run. I just lost toys. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's yep. the way you look at it. Yep. Okay. All right. You guys want to mention the Arts and Crafts Festival real quick, too. That's coming up a week from this weekend on the 8th of June. That's right. The Gary Merchants are again sponsoring the Arts and Crafts, well, the Arts Festival. Yeah. And, uh... It will be at a different location this year. We've changed it to the Courthouse Salon on 10th Street. I think that's got, kind of a good idea. We've got a lot of shade there. It'll be great. Everybody can be in the shade. And so we're just inviting everybody to come over and view our artists and have some snacks and enjoy the day. Yeah. And that we'll starts. have entertainment. got, I think, three bands coming yep. in, so there will be entertainment all yeah. day as well. Yeah, that's we good. Really have a, we really have a good turnout of artists. I think we're up to about 30 artists booths this year, uh, which is about double what we've ever had. So we'll have some good good stuff on display there. So. Yep, and a wide variety of yep. stuff yep. too, yep. right? Yep, big variety of stuff. Yeah. Uh, anywhere from chainsaw art to some really classic art. So. Chainsaw art? Yep. Okay. I'll have to go <laughs> over there and look. You'll have to look. <laughs> I have to find out. Yep. All right. Very good. So once again, uh, go to the uh, big luncheon uh, this coming Sunday over at uh, Kozad's Garage. And Linda, real quick, when is it again? It is this Sunday from 11 to 2. And uh, we invite everybody to come, all the residents. And we'll be feeding the drivers and the navigators and the rally staff for free. But the public is invited to come enjoy it with us. Yep, $6 Watch the cars for lunch. come in, sit in the shade, and have a good time. All right, very good. Well, thanks, guys, for coming in. Appreciate it. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank, Thank you very much. You bet.